Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Chris and welcome to Path to Wellness. Today's video is how to eat to live and not live to eat. So if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button and check the bell so you're notified of all my new videos. And I'm making videos on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday morning, so now you know to look out for those. All right, and I do appreciate that, thank you. So real quick before we get started, I wanna mention that I'm now doing fat loss and wellness coaching. So if you need some extra help, you can go ahead and email me or you can message me on Facebook or Instagram and we can connect. Okay, cool, so I wanted to make this video how to eat to live, not live to eat because you've probably heard this expression before and it is super important. And there's a few simple tips I'm gonna give you and then I'm gonna show you what I recently ate in a day to help give you tips on great foods to eat. Tip number one, figure out your purpose and stay busy. So let's say you're stuck in a job right now that you hate. Well, take time each day to figure out what you really wanna do, work on it each day as much as you can, and stay busy with it. This is a super important tip because when you figure out what you love to do and you do it and you stay busy with it, you're gonna be much more motivated to do other great things in life like eat a healthy diet, exercise, other things like that. And that's what I've learned myself. So tip number one is figure out your purpose and stay busy. Tip number two is stock your kitchen full of health promoting foods. May sound simple, but this is a huge one. If you have your kitchen and your pantry and your refrigerator full of the right kind of foods, then when you get hungry, you're gonna be able to go right to it and eat the right foods. This is huge because if you run out of the things you're trying to eat, you're gonna be tempted to go and eat the wrong things. So just figure out the foods that you like that are health promoting and keep your kitchen full of those foods. It's a very simple tip, but it makes a huge difference. Eat enough food. Foods that are higher in water content and higher in fiber, they're more calorie dilute, which means you're going to have to have more volume. So if you're just getting into a healthier lifestyle, you may have to take this part slow and add things in slowly because your body might not be used to all that water, high water content, fiber rich foods. But if you need to ease into it, but eventually you're gonna be needing to get a lot more volume in because the food is gonna be more calorie dilute, it's gonna be higher in water content, higher in volume. In the long run, you're gonna have great improved digestion. And those are three simple easy tips to get going with this and here's what I recently ate in a day to give you some ideas of some healthy foods to eat. So it's now 2 p.m. and I'm going to start off with a smoothie. This is going to be a really good one and it's going to be five bananas. One of them is frozen. The others are not frozen. Nice and ripe so the smoothie will be sweet from the ripe bananas. And I'm gonna put those bananas in and I'm gonna start off with just blending those. To get it going. Now I'm gonna add two cups of frozen blueberries. handfuls of uh, organic spinach. Get some greens in there. Stuff those greens down in there. smoothies, so I love doing that. Alright, now 
Gonna put in a few more things. I got some daily green boost, super nutritious. It's that barley grass juice powder. So I'll put in a couple, couple tablespoons of that. And then I'm gonna put in a tablespoon or two of cocoa powder. Nice chocolatey flavor. And I'm gonna finish it off with some raw almond butter. Oh, and chia seeds. So a couple tablespoons of almond butter. And I'll grab one more spoon for my chia seeds. I love doing these choked, these soaked chia seeds because I think it's great for digestion. So I'll do a few tablespoons of those. Maybe three in there. And blend that up. So this thing's about, I think, 1,100, 1,200 calories. So great way to get a lot of nutrition. Nice and thick. You can add water and make it thinner. Try that out. Mmm. That's good. So meet that. And I'll be back later with a little something else. Then at about 4 o'clock, I put together a peanut butter and banana sandwich, and I had an apple with that. So just threw some peanut butter, sliced up bananas on some whole grain bread. And then at 6 o'clock, I made a big salad. It had mixed greens, tomato, cucumber, and avocado. And then I had two bowls of this lentil stew over rice. It was lentil and mixed veggies over rice. And I had two bowls. That was at 6 o'clock. And then just a little after that, I had a bowl of blueberries. So thanks a lot for watching. Give a thumbs up if you like it, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.